So my expertise in cardiac surgery are in three areas. And number one, heart transplantation and the implantation of ventricular assist device to treat end-stage congestive heart failure patients. Number two, for those patients with heart valve disease, my expertise is to provide minimally invasive valve repair, especially mitral valve repair, without opening the chest. Number three, the, for those patients who suffer coronary artery disease, my approach would be a hybrid approach using robotic-assisted technology to mobilize arterial graft so we can do a bypass grafting surgery without opening the patient's chest. So technology here is the key. So with this robot, with minimally invasive technology, we can offer a lot of new treatment that was not possible in the past. Nowadays, it becomes reality, become a routine. The benefits of minimally invasive and robotic cardiac surgeries are, number one, less blood loss, quicker recovery, and quicker return to normal life. Of course, with the new technologies nowadays and that, um, new advancement of technologies such as robotic, such as 3D imaging, such as uh, high definition of echocardiogram, the surgery has become much more precise and then allow us to provide, we call it precision of surgery nowadays. We would obtain a lot of information and images about the heart so we know exactly where's the disease, where's the defect, and also because of the precision of diagnosis and assessment of the defect, we can use the technology to access the heart without opening the patient's sternum, such as we can use a small incision, two inch incision through the rib space to access the mitral valves through the right side of the chest and then to perform the minimally invasive mitral valve repair. And we know that the prolapsed part of the valve that can be resected and sewed together. And we have automatically not tying device. And then we place uh, annular plasterine on the, on the valve annulus to tighten it up. And then we have the image that can be enhanced with uh, video scope and also with DaVinci uh, robots. And uh, sometimes um, all these new, new technologies add together would make much surgery much easier, much precise. And the patient with minimal invasive uh, mitral valve surgery typically has less blood loss, then almost no need for blood transfusion and quick recovery and quick return to the work and also better cosmetics. Robotic assisted surgery is to use the current technology of Da Vinci robotic system. This is uh, the system that is composed of a 3D image camera and the two controlled robotic arms. And then sometimes the third arm can be used. So it was done through the computer controlled panel, through computer controlled console, and then that the device itself, the robot itself can filter out tremor and can provide a 3D image in front of the surgeon and the patient can clearly have a good depth perception and then without the need of putting the hands into the chest of the patient. So everything is done through a kind of remote and through a very fine tip instruments that would result in minimal trauma to the patient's tissue and the minimal blood loss. Everything is magnified 10 times bigger. We can see everything. And then the vessels, everything, we can avoid certain areas and then identify the disease segment very precisely, very clearly. Right now, based on what I know, in Houston area, that there is a lack of such uh, expertise in the minimal invasive cardiac surgery and robotic cardiac surgery area. Because of the history and uh, of many first procedures done at Baylor, this is a place of the innovation, the birth of many cardiac surgery procedures. There's a tradition of embracing any new technologies. So if I would find this place a place in easily embrace the technologies and the minimally invasive and the robotic cardiac surgery. And I think this will be the best place to, to do such a surgery.